Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna finally show you guys the planner that I actually got from the Erin Condren preview launch. Um, I'm really excited because as you guys can see, we have this beautiful kaleidoscope box and honestly everything that was in the store was awesome it was super cute and uh it was it was amazing to be part of that and also i just want to say thank you to anyone who uses my affiliate links to buy any erin condren um um items it really means the world to me and the constant support that i receive from you guys is just so overwhelming that sometimes i'm just like wow i can't believe i've come so far in this um, debt-free journey that I have so many people behind me supporting me and honestly it's because only because of you guys alright well as you guys saw it comes with a storage box and this is my planner I actually got a a coil planner I was gonna get a binder but after seeing some reviews I kinda wanted to hold off on it so I went with this um, rose gold coiled with a metallic cover now the thing is when we were at the Erin Condren store they could not um, personalize this this um this cover so I did end up just getting one that says empowered women empower women of course it comes with your um, new ruler everyone has noticed the new ruler it's a frosted kaleidoscope theme ruler it's really thick it's um, bendable not as acrylic as the other one so that one's that so I'm gonna put this one to the side over here we have the rose gold coil as you guys can see I feel like this one is like super big but it might just be me because it's been a while since I've had a life planner and then of course you get this kaleidoscope metallic um, colorful cover right there it's super cute and then, if you guys can't tell by the tabs, I actually have a neutral planner. I went with the hourly neutral just because when I was in store, I was loving the vibrancy of the colorful and I almost got it. But I know myself and I know the way I like things and I like my planners to be very plain. So I went with the neutral. So of course, you have your dashboard right here. And then you have your vellum right here with the kaleidoscope neutral um, theme. And of course on your other page you say on the go life planner, hourly layout and this is my life and you can put your name on here and it's made in the USA. Then we go to this quotes pages. It says success means having the courage to become the person you believe you are meant to be and this is very blue, very gray, yellow, um, black tone actually reminds me of the movie Frozen especially now that I went to go see it at Disney California this literally reminds me of her dress and just everything so this is pretty cute to be honest next we have your year at a glance calendar so you have your 2019 and then you start your 2020 right over here you do have a kaleidoscope kind of like strips going across the months um, to be honest, at the beginning I was hating it when I was when I was watching all the videos of all the people who got the preview planners. I was just like, oh, it's so like not me. But staring at it now, it's actually it's pretty cute. I really don't mind it. I feel like it's very muted down, which is something I like. So I'm really happy I actually went with this um, neutral version. And of course on the top you get your new beginnings, new mindset, new focus, new start, new intentions, new results. So of course you have, I think it's 12 boxes, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yeah, 12 boxes that you can set up whatever you want. Um, you have a blank title part right here. So you can always put your stickers down that say January through December. Or you can just go ahead and put any type of goal setting, any events that you might have each month right here. I personally never use this page. I don't know why I just don't look at this page. So I'm okay with just it being blank. Now, of course, over here you move on and then you get this first blank page. And right here, the only big difference is that they actually added a title bar to your notes pages with a hexagon with the kaleidoscope theme in it. So right here, I, I know a lot of us usually when we do our notes pages, you can put goals, you can put, you know, special events. So now they actually just accommodate you to have a title bar. So you can add that in so you don't take up your... Um, notes lines right over here but it's up to you You can always put a sticker over it if you don't like this layout but nonetheless I'm kind of happy that they put a little title bar next you have your quotes page right before the month in my in the neutral um, 
planner you do get gray tabs which is nice because it's not as so um, bold as when you used to have a black one so of course you, when you flip it over you do come to now like a goal setting or a, an achievement kind of page layout so in the neutral you do get gridded dot paper right here with um, kaleidoscope theme borders and then on this side it's the same thing except that in in the neutral these boxes are not shaded in and we don't actually have the full kaleidoscope um, borders on this side so you it's pretty plain which I do love this is what I wanted in the colorful but without the shading which I'm really happy I went with the neutral so of course you get your month right here with the hexagon outline of the kaleidoscope you do get this big old box with for your birthdays for your monthly goals and then you get a blank one and then a dotted grid so um, you can really customize this however you want if you don't have birthdays you can put washi stickers whatever you like over this and you can call it a day and then of course any monthly goals that you would have which is great because sometimes you want to look back and see you know this is what I want to accomplish so I'm gonna have an outline for it a plan and an execution you know so we go ahead and move on and then we move on to the month um, page layout a lot of people were kind of annoyed that the tab the tab was not on the month personally I'm really happy about it you don't have this plastic on top of your date so you do have your boxes completely free as to someone who puts down their stickers on these boxes on these sides sometimes this um, tab plastic kind of would be annoying so I'm really happy that it's a change plus it does make you look back to your other pages so that's great and of course when you look at the monthly layout let me zoom you guys in just a tad bit let me zoom you guys in just slightly. You do get this kaleidoscope um, strips right above your boxes, but right underneath the the days. So Sundays through Saturdays, you do get that strip. I honestly love it. I feel like it adds some character to it because I'm not the type of person to add any type of stickers on my headers right here or in the parts that the calendar does not exist. So. I'm really happy about it because it does add some personality, especially if you're like a white space planner like I am. You just only fill in some of your boxes. You don't actually focus on the top. So I'm really happy that they at least ha have some type of neutral coloring to add personality to the planner. Of course, I'm really happy that they got rid of that big old um, strip right here. Um, usually you get like a strip of color or, or black or gray i forget which one it was and then you can start your gridded lines i like that that it's just plain one dot one hexagon that's part of the theme and you get more space and not so much as tied down with washi that way now one thing that i will say is that they did take the month at a glance over here that kind of it's to me, I wish they had it here instead of every page. As you can see, I'll show you the, the calendars now on the other page. I honestly really liked having the calendar right here. I would look in the future right here as to when days land if I'm planning out paychecks or events. I would look here. Now I would have to turn the page and look and it's kind of like... I wish it was just kept right over here. Sorry if the lighting keeps changing. LA wants to be gloomy. It wants to be sunny. So, And I'm filming right in front of a window. So this is all the natural lighting. But yeah. I wish they would have kept it. But they took it off. But they put it in every other page now. Alright. So now let's move on to the week. So this is the week right here. I honestly love it. I love how blank it is. I love how it's just a canvas that you can work on. You can decorate on your own. You can really make it and customize it to however you want. That is what I liked about the neutral. When you do the colorful, the colorful theme is shaded in with the color of the month. And if you're like a blank, a white space planner, you would have to worry about all that color being coordinating with your regular stickers that you use here you don't have that sorry about that let me turn off my phone you don't have that you don't need to coordinate any stickers with the shading if you're a white space planner now if you're a, a just say you fill up your pages with stickers you really don't have to worry about what the colorful has to offer because you just 
slap on a bunch of stickers and call it a day but if you're a white space planner like I am a lot of blank canvas is great for you now I know they added some weird spacing right above before the the time starts I'm not sure what to do with it I mean it's nice it gives character to the planner but I wouldn't know what to um, track there if, if it was to me I would say add the kaleidoscope you know print up here to it or use that space to give extra hours now let's get into the hours a lot of people were complaining that the half hours were taken away this is the first time I'm actually having an hourly planner and if you're a first timer you won't even notice it you won't even notice the difference now if you were an hourly planner before from the previous year and you switch on to this yes it's gonna be a huge change yes you're gonna have to accommodate to it but to me I think it looks fresh clean it looks it looks great to me so I don't have a problem with it what I do have a problem with is that they, at the bottom they actually have these notes and to me I think that's just wasted space to me I would have liked for this to be used up by hours now I know don't get me wrong a lot of people were complaining that there was no half hours so I would have loved to see that they would use this space this space to accommodate half hours even if it was like half a centimeter a centimeter more who knows so that would have been a great utilization of time space but a lot of people do like to have you know priorities here meal planning here or just big events that are happening and they can just put their boxes so that's great if you want to think about it if you're an hourly planner right now and your day really doesn't start at 6 a.m. it really doesn't matter because this is just useless space so for me my day doesn't really start until like 11 or 12 p.m. so how I plan is that I do if I have an early start or I have to do things in the morning I would just put a sticker here or put anything in here and it necessarily wouldn't coordinate with the time now if you're really strict to the time planning then yeah I can see the uh, the the message of this being not so great for you but if you're just like a morning evening nighttime planner like I am you would just coordinate you know how high your stickers go how low your stickers go and everything in between so I think that's great of course here is where you get your calendar I wish this was in here I wish this was just blank space because you can just add more here but you know if you want to look at your calendar you have it I also want to mention every time the beginning of the month starts you do get a hexagon with a kaleidoscope theme and the color of the month does slightly change so yeah that is how it looks now let me move on to every month so you guys can see an actual flip through I also want to mention that this border is outlined with color not sure if it changes with the month but we'll get to it so this is for August today is another chance to get better and of course it slightly shifts to some type of blue I love this I love this font I did not like the font in the colorful so this font was a huge um, huge huge um, how do you say it? factor on me choosing a planner as well I don't know what it is but font really call out to me and if I don't like the font I don't like the planner so as you see right here, August starts right here, the kaleidoscope is in bold outline and you move on. So it changes from like a purple to a blue. So there is color shifting right here as well, but nothing major. All right, so let's go on to September. So yeah, the border of the title header, it does change colors. So September is kind of like a peachiness. You can see it in the dots. You can see it in the dec decorative, you know, strips up there in your little hexagon. Sorry if you hear noise, those are just my neighbors. And then we have your next month starts here. So it is, I'm not sure if you guys can really see it, but you can really see right here that the kaleidoscope hexagon is outlined really bold to represent the color of the month and actually let me just guys give you a closer look of how the planner something's in there looks from this perspective as you can see you have your headers and then you have your times 
and then your months and then your hexagons at the bottom to plan you know big events meal planning however you want to say it all right there we go but i really am liking this these colors i don't mind them at all and then when once september starts you get your peachy brown colors not a fan of these colors but that is what neutrals are then we move on to october which is a dark blue so some of these colors will variate um i personally like them i just i just like i like the kaleidoscope theme i don't mind it and i think the font is so beautiful again they bold it and then the color changes to blue to tan to all right, so let's move on to November. And I believe I got a 12-month planner. I think our, it goes blue, purple, and tan. Looks like those are going to be the colors. Yeah, like blue, purple, and tan. I feel like those are the only colors that the neutral offers. So if you really like a color, just know that you're only going to get blue, purple, and tan. And I'm just like showing you guys everything. As you guys can see, it's blue, purple, and tan. Not much color variation. Same thing. So mine ends in July, so this is an academic year. And it usually correlates when the Erin Condren launches happen. So this planner makes the most sense to me because I will plan from when the launch starts to the next launch and so on and so forth so that's really great next we get to the end which is june 30th and you do have one day in july then you get your notes pages then you get one two three you get three notes pages followed by one two three four dotted grids with the kaleidoscope themes on the side and then you get two coloring pages I can't do coloring pages. It stresses me out. This is not something relaxing. So these usually stay blank for me. And then you have this vision board here, I think is what they call it. So you guys can, I think you have 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Yeah, you have 12. So these can represent 12 months, a 12 month outline, a 12 month plan, a 12 month vision, 12 month or pictures whatever you want to call it this is what you can do it I personally won't be using this I have no purpose for this or use for it so this is just an extra like like the like the coloring pages it won't get used in my opinion then we have the context pages a lot of people still wonder why there's context pages but when it was taken away people were arguing that it should be brought back so it was brought back so this is just for everyone to miscellaneously use you can use these for passwords you can use these for actual contacts for doctors for um events or anything that you building that you want to go to check out whatever you want to call it this is like if you want to see a museum you get all their information if you want to go see you know a theater you want to get there you can do whatever you want with these pages. It doesn't have to be for contact, but it does have name and then two, two hexagons. Then we go to the back, which is the most colorful I've ever seen on this page. The green is really beautiful. I really liked it. I wish it was more incorporated in the pages before, but you have your 2021. Now, I'm not a future planner that much. I usually plan my week ahead, and that's the most planning I do. So if but if you have like weddings or you know you gotta go to venues or events in the future, you do have this and you get like one, two, three, four, four dots to lay down what is it that you need to do for each month. And right here you have in the bottom like a little notes saying in the upcoming year I have this or you want to do this. Then we get to the back. Of course, you got your advertisement here, and then you have your stickers. So when we get to the stickers part, there is a very big variation from the colorful and the neutral this time around each planner colorful or neutral got their own separate theme um stickers this didn't i did not know it was going to be a big deal to me because i actually love the colorful stickers and not so much the neutrals so i was kind of upset that everyone did not get the same color stickers but 
it does make sense that neutral goes with neutral and, and colorful goes with colorful. But yes, I was super upset about this change. And I didn't know I was going to be upset about it until like I saw it. Since everything, everyone almost gets the same equalness, I was amazed that this time around people got separate um, separate things. However, Erin Condren does sell the neutral stickers and the colorful stickers separately on their website. So if you're interested in that, you can get the other set if you're interested. I will be purchasing them because I'm just not going to be about this. I don't like the tan colors. Silver, I like silver, but these page flags are huge, so I won't be using this much either way. But I did love the colorful page of the flags. Now, a lot of people were complaining that the flags and these boxes don't really fit into the hourly. I haven't tested it out. I'll probably do it in a future video. Um, but for now, these are the flags. They're beautiful. and They're foiled. They're rose gold. So if you're not a rose gold fan, yeah, you might have an issue with this page. But other than that, I think it's gorgeous. Then you have one which is all the like kind of events um, stickers. So you have your birthday, celebrate, party, um, like rain, any winter seasonal celebration stickers are here. I really enjoyed the ones in the colorful so I will be getting that one and I'll probably rip these out. But yeah, these are silver, silver foiled. So if you like silver, you do have a silver foiled one. And then we move on to the appointment labels or event labels that Erin Condren does parade every time in all your life planners. I really don't use these pages because I just don't like the cut of the stickers. To me, the cut is really big. Like. To me, it's too big of a cut for me to use as stickers. I like my stickers very thin, um, but it's personal preference. And I've seen that people say that this doesn't fit in our hourly, but if you were working with a neutral or a horizontal, I'm pretty sure this would work. It's just for the hourly that a lot of people are having issues with the stickers and with the sizes of the boxes. But as I told you, I'm new to the hourly layout, so I'm not really conflicted with the layout, but I can see their viewpoints. So that's that. And this one is filled with rose gold as well. Next we have the pocket. The pocket had the most changes. Um, now it's a double sided pocket that goes all the way to the top for each side. I really like this pocket just because of the metallic look. It's so gorgeous. And I, this one in the colorful, oh my god, it's to die for. So I'm always torn. I wish I had like half color, half neutral in my like in my um, planner I wish I could like Franken plan it but you know you can't be too picky so then it goes here then we turn it over here and that's where all this stuff was falling so you do get two two freebies that always come with your um, planner when you buy a life planner you do get a perpetual calendar let me zoom out a bit and of course it's um it's not a neutral one which is funny but you do get a colorful perpetual and you know you have every month on there and you can use it however you like. I really don't use this. This usually goes to the side and never sees the daylight. And then you do get your freebies right here which you get two compliment cards, two um, label stickers which the colorful and the neutral are in there and then you get a 20% off coupon. I won't open this because you know everyone's seen this but you also do get one sticker like a little sticker that you can put on the side of your box here or here however you want to do it you do get a hexagon sticker that you can put the year the whatever your planner is about that you're storing but yeah that's what comes in here and then you would go back here and then you get your dashboard again with the pretty kaleidoscope and again your metallic so that was the Life Planner 2019-2020 from Erin Condren. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!